out there, Peabody, Sherman, and Fleabag here. Uh, Sherman, tell the folks what Marconi invented. Marconi invented spaghetti. You are confusing Marconi with macaroni, my boy. <clears throat> be that as it may, set the way back for Venice, Italy in the year 1896. For today, we shall be on hand when Guglielmo Marconi produces the first successful radio. What's radio, Mr. Peabody? Never mind, get into the way back. One second later, we were standing inside Marconi's lab, and there, before his invention, stood the great man. Stand back, please. I'm going to turn on a juice. The juice was turned on, and so was Marconi. Are you all right, Mr. Marconi? See, si, just a little shock, that's all. Does your radio always short out on you that way? No, most of the time it go out right in the middle of Arthur Godfrey. I don't know what's the matter. I bet Mr. Peabody can help. With Marconi's permission, I proceeded to inspect his wiring. I knew I'd found the source of the trouble when I discovered the wires leading into a Venice canal. You mean to say I'm a knocking string of wire underwater? Exactly. Then I'm giving up inventing the radio. I'm gonna try television. I'm afraid the results would be the same. Look, if we can drain the canals for one day, could you finish your invention, then work on it elsewhere, say, in Florence? Sure! Sherman and I went to the executive offices of the Venice Canal Boat Company, owned and operated by a gentleman named Giuseppe Pasto. Drain the canals? That's ridiculous. But Mr. Pasto, Marconi must invent the radio. And he can only do it if the water is out of the canals. Actually, he's a tough lock. What now, Mr. Peabody? Come, my boy, there's more than one way to skin a canal. At the far end of the city was a large dam used for draining off the surplus canal water. You see that wheel directly in back of that guard, Sherman? Well, if we can turn that wheel, the canal will drain completely. But how are we going to do it? There's a guard. We won't do it. The guard will. <clears throat> How do you do, sir? I'm from the Venice Motor Vehicle Bureau. That's a nice. We have a driver's license for you if you can pass the test. The what test are you talking about? The left-hand turn. If you can show us how you make a left-hand turn, you get your license. That's a easy. This is steering the wheel, all right? Right. Well, I'm going to throw out my left hand out of the window like it is. Go on. And then all I got to do is a turn of the car like it is. You did it, Mr. Peabody. The car. Dry. Quickly, Sherman, we must get Marconi to finish the radio. The rest of that night, Marconi slaved over his invention, desperately striving to complete it in time. Well, that's it. Is it finished? Sure. The brilliant inventor turned the juice on just as he did when we first saw him. Oh, my gosh, it shorted out again. Senor Marconi, are you all right? I think so. But how about that radio? What could be wrong? Again, I traced the wires, and to my surprise, they were in the canal. A water-filled canal. But we drained it. True, but we didn't drain the sky. Huh? It rained last night, Sherman. There was nothing else to do but return to the dam and try to trick the guard once more. Unfortunately, not only had the guards doubled, but they were under the personal supervision of Giuseppe Pasto. Keep your eyes open. If anyone is a touch of daddy wheel, he's a chicken is going to be catch it or it. Uh, pardon me, Senor Pasto, but we're from the Venice Motor Vehicle Bureau. Oh, no, you don't. I already got my license. But I'm not here to give you your license, Senor Pasto, but to take it away. What? According to the Bureau, you made an illegal U-turn yesterday. That's not true. Can you prove it? Sure. I was uh, behind the wheel, see? And I was on a one-way street. I'm a lookout of both ways. Street, she's uh, got no one on it. I see. Then what did you do? I make a U-turn. Show us. Oh, no. You think I'm a fool? Uh, you trying to make me turn this wheel. Turn the wheel? Sure. You expecting me to spin the wheel like this? Come, Sherman. Back to Marconi. Oh, mamma mia. What a dope. There it is, Senor Peabody. The radio. She's all set. Arrivederci. Well, you did it, Mr. Peabody. Well, I can't help feeling sorry for Mr. Pasto. Oh, don't feel sorry for him, Sherman. He's going into the salad business, and he's going to make a fortune. In fact, he's naming the salad after his aunt. Oh, really? What's he calling it? You really don't know, Sherman? No, sir. Auntie Pasto?